Hello and welcome to Let's Play Bunny Must Die. This is your host Hayward, and I'm going to be up front with y'all. I apologize, I, sk I just skipped again. If you go south from the uh, save point we were just at, you can get here. Uh, I screw up way too much. I don't think I skipped for any of the other ones, so you don't really have to be worried about that anymore. Right now we are inside an active volcano, which looks like it doubles as a cloning facility for more bunny girls. Looks, look, look kind of like bunny here. Now they can stop time and run around in high heels as well. Only our bunny can do that. Fighting one right now. Uh, generally the clones are invincible unless they're spitting at you. We're being stomped on the head like some mushroom king or reject. Right now we're at a gate puzzle here. Just gotta hit the switch and book it. Rewind time and we're, we're, we're good to go. Good thing Bunny is so fast and easy to control. Otherwise this would be difficult. Oh look, lava! Got a bunny up there, Hexia. Very useful. I don't use them, you might, who knows. Rocket platforms, you've always got to have those. How else would you access the higher levels? Or lower levels, as the case seems to be. I'm just going to completely botch this here for y'all. Luckily the designers made it so you can never get trapped in this game. If you're ever behind a closed gate because you just completely ran out of time. There's always some sort of, some sort of out, although they usually hide them. I think we're nearing a boss here. Let's see. Oh yep, we got Bowser fire. Oh, it's, it's the Castlevania eye. How's it going, buddy? I'm just gonna not do anything to you. There we go. No, I'll give you what for. Yeah, yeah, you don't like the sword, do you? I love the sword. And, and there's a cat. Yep, cat boss. Lord of the volcano planet. Makes sense, right? What with all the... The bunny motif we've got going on here. I have to admit, that is a cute cat, though. I almost feel sorry for damaging its paws with my sword. But in my defense, he attacked first. Y'all saw it. I just guard blocked there. Uh, I found out that if you uh, press in the direction Bunny is facing when you're about to get hurt, that you will guard block like that. You will take a little bit less damage. Ooh, yeah! Take that, cat! You just exploded. As all cats do once they have zero lives. So we've got some more running and jumping here. Pumpkins that shoot fire. Does that make sense? The jumping mechanics in this game really take a little getting used to. I mean, you can see me discovering them as I go along. Music's kind of catchy, I guess. It'll probably grow on me the more I do these. Look at the sword. It's interesting. Hearing Bunny's voice, and this moon speak language. I don't, I don't, I don't know that voice. I, I assume it's Japanese. Uh, also, I do not abuse the time powers as much as I should. I, mean, I can get through a lot of these rooms a thousand times easier. Probably have maybe one or two retakes instead of fifty per, per session if I just abuse the time. But I refuse. I refuse to abuse. Hey, Luca! A lake of lava! I think I'll just take a dip. Oh, this lava's so good. Delectable! I just can't get enough. Oh, there we go again. Who else but me, huh? 
What do I do next? Probably more of that. So we have the purple key now. Opens purple doors. That'll be useful for entering the right wing of the castle here. And... Oh! Oh, lovely! Yeah. Alright. Next time on Let's Play Bunny Must Die, I do not lose. <laughs> right.